Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. In this video, we'll look at the factors that are needed for choosing a statistical method before doing the test and eventually finding the most appropriate test. First, we need to know more about our data. When we collect data, there are two types of statistics that we can run, descriptive statistics and inferential statistics. Descriptive statistics are used to describe the sample or summarize information about them, like mean, median, mode, and standard deviation. Inferential statistics are used to make inferences or generalization about the population, like t-tests, ANOVAs, and correlation analysis. The type of descriptive statistics that is reported or the type of inferential method that we run depends on several factors. So when selecting the method, we need to consider these four steps. First one, research design, then levels of measurement or the type of variable, then assumption violation, and the last one, normal distribution of the population. I'll explain all of them in details. For each research, there are more than one appropriate statistical analysis, but there we have different types of research design. The research design is including descriptive, correlation, and group comparison, which um, correlation is including correlational and predictive, and group comparison is including casual experiments which also which they are also called non-experimental and experimental design so basically we have seven different types descriptive correlation uh, which is including correlational and prediction comparison which is casual comparative or non-experimental design experimental design which includes through experimental design, quasi-experimental quasi design, and pre-experimental design. What is descriptive? The thing that we want to measure, for example, measuring 10 patients' blood sugar level, here we're not trying to examine any cause and effect relationship between variables. A study is used to gain knowledge about an identified problem. The second one, correlation. Examine the extent to which two or more variables relate to one another. So it includes two types of studies, correlational studies and prediction studies. Correlational examines the relationship between variables and prediction predicts the ability of variables to predict another variable. In these two designs, we can't make a statement about the cause and effect relationship and we should know that correlation does not equal causation. And the third one, comparison. Uh, examine whether or not there is a cause and effect relationship between variables. So um, casual comparative or non-experimental design examines the possible cause and effect relationship between variables which means that the phenomenon is studied after the fact that it occurs naturally in the environment or has already been manipulated. And experimental design, the distinguishing characteristic of experimental designs is that the researcher manipulates the independent variable. Overall, in research design, what is really important is the reason and the purpose of each of these designs. The way of conducting research designs are including three categories, between group experiments, within group experiments, and non-experiments. In between group experiments, every participant is tested under one and only one condition, but in within group experiments, every participant is tested under all conditions. And in non-experiments, like correlational studies, involves the measuring quantitative variables and examining the relationship between them. So it's looking for a relationship between variables. For between group experiments, so independent t-test and between group ANOVA would be the best. 
uh, and for within group experiments, dependent t tests and within group ANOVA would be appropriate. But for non experiments, it's Pearson's R or Spearsman's row. As I said, the purpose of research guides the choice of statistical analysis, and the choice of um, statistical analysis is based upon variables, levels of measurement, types of variables in order to choose parametric or non-parametric analysis, and assumption violation. We have two types of variables, quantitative and qualitative. Quantitative is numeric like test score, weight, and qualitative are non-numeric or categorical like sex, blood types, and so on. And levels of measurement are nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. And we need to know that nominal or categorical variables can be put in categories like blood types, for example, and ordinal are categorical but ranked ordered variables like life or job satisfaction can be described as low, moderate, or high, and interval do not have an absolute zero, and ratio do have absolute zero, like score, grade, GPA. Um, also, it would be good to know that the types of variables affects the type of graph that is used and also the choice of descriptive statistics reported. For example, nominal or qualitative variable and categorical variables are described using frequency charts, bar charts, modes, numbers, and percentages. While quantitative variables like interval, ratio level, or ordinal variables are described in histograms, frequency tables, and using mean, median, and standard deviation, the minimum amount, and the maximum amount. Um, the types of variable and levels of measurement also determine the choice of the inferential statistics completed whether or not a non-parametric or parametric analysis is used. Here we can see in this table for interval and ratio that they are both quantitative, uh, parametric analysis is recommended. For the second factor, which was whether parametric and non-parametric procedures, we can see here the, the summary of how and when we use these two. What is important here is that parametric techniques make assumptions about the population and the nature of the data, uh, while non-parametric techniques do not have such stringent um, assumptions and are more suitable techniques for smaller samples. The third factor leading to choice of statistical analysis is assumption violation. Um, parametric assumptions are based on these assumptions. First, the distribution of the population from which the sample is taken is normally distributed. And second, they, there will be no extreme outliers. And finally, the variance of scores are approximately equal across population or we can say homogeneity of variance. If data deviates strongly from these assumptions, a parametric procedure may not be the best choice, and you may make wrong conclusions. So maybe non-parametric procedure be the better choice. Notice that although non-parametric procedure has desirable properties such as making fewer assumptions about the distribution of measurement, in the population, it has two drawbacks. Um, first, non-parametric analysis generally have less statistical power than the alternative parametric procedures, especially when data is not approximately normal. Less power means a smaller probability about which procedure will tell the variables are whether associated or different. 
So to make it stronger, it requires a large sample size. And the second drawback is that the results are often less easy to interpret. This is because many of non-parametric analyses use ranking of value in the data analysis rather than the actual raw data. Before selecting each research design, we need to do these steps. First, what are the levels of measurement of the variables in my study? Notice that here the dependent variable is what we're really concerned about. However, in correlational study, uh, we are concerned about all the variables. And the second step is we can make a choice about whether or not to conduct parametric or non-parametric analysis. As we mentioned before, if variables are measured at nominal or ordinal, then we use non-parametric analysis. But if data is either ratio or interval, then a parametric analysis is the best choice. The third step was asking, are the assumptions for the parametric analysis reasonably met? If they are, then we continue with parametric. If they aren't, we may use non-parametric. After assessing these steps, then we consider research design. Questions here are, is the design concerned with within group or between group comparisons? And is the design experimental or non-experimental? I mean, it is concerned with either differences or it is concerned with relationships. If differences, then consider something such as t-test or ANOVA. But if relationships, then a rational or a correlational analysis like a Pearson's R may, would be more appropriate. And the third question is, how many groups are we looking to study? Um, let's go ahead and practically apply these steps and see a real example. Question here is, is the difference, the difference in patients' blood sugar level based on whether they are male or female? Um, we can see that Independent variable here is the gender, male and female, and dependent variable is blood sugar level. Uh, our independent variable is categorical or, or nominal, which is gender, and our dependent variable is measured at ratio level. And since variable is ratio, next question is, are the assumptions of the parametric analysis uh, unreasonably met? Um, let's say for the sake of this study, they are met. So we continue with a parametric analysis. And the third question um, is that, is the design concerned with within group comparison or between group comparison? Um, in this study, we take these groups of patients and separate them into males and females and want to compare females and males' blood sugar level. So we have two separate groups. Therefore, we are going to do a between group comparison. And um, the first question is, uh, is the design experimental or non-experimental? Let's say that researcher assigned the participants to treatment either male or female, so therefore it's experimental. Um, we have all this information. Uh, we can use a decision tree to find the specific statistical method. As you can see in this tree, uh, we find found out that um, our subject is between subjects and then we have two groups. So independent sample t-test would be the best option. Although we should know that it is not always that simple and easy. Sometimes there are multiple analyses or different analyses that you could use.